Hi, I'm Dr. Christina Dervatis, uh, an OBGYN in Newmarket, Ontario, Canada. I'm here today with another video uh, regarding intrauterine contraception. Today's video is going to be a very brief unboxing uh, video. I'm going to uh, go through the packaging and um, demystify a little bit about what's in that big box. Um, because particularly for some of the levonorgestrel containing or progesterone containing IUDs, um, that is uh, Marina and Kylina being the most commonly used ones in Canada. The box is intimidatingly and deceptively big. And I always uh, make sure that I warn my patients about that when I'm writing a prescription uh, so that they understand not to panic when they get to the pharmacy and see this big box. So I'm gonna start with, this is a Kylina box. They're pretty much the same. Um, so Marina and Kylina are um, basically uh, the same in a sense uh, with a few variations. Both are five-year IUDs. Kylina is designed with a slightly more narrow insertion uh, tool so that um, it's a little bit easier to insert into a slightly more narrow cervix, such as one that has not seen a vaginal delivery before. So that would be patients who've never had children or perhaps have had children by C-sections. Uh, those patients might be someone that we would prescribe a Kylina to. Um, Marina, uh, so Kylina has a slightly lower amount of hormone. It's 19.5 milligrams of levonorgestrel that is slowly released uh, over time. Marina, on the other hand, has 52 uh, milligrams of uh, levonorgestrel that are slowly released over time. Um, the effects on the endometrial lining and period effects are similar with both Marina or Kylina, uh, but if someone was having problems with really heavy or painful periods, even if they haven't had children before or a vaginal delivery before, I might choose Marina over Kylina because actually in the past before Kylina existed, we were able to uh, use Marinas in uh, what we call nullips or patients who've not had children before. But that aside, so that's what the boxes each look like. I'm gonna open a Kylina box. Anticipation. Okay. Sorry. Okay. So opening the box, out comes the the main attraction is the inserter. So this is why the box is so big. The IUD itself is actually very tiny. Uh, sorry, there's shadowing. It's a nice sunny day here. Um, very tiny. Here's a colored version. So that's just on this portion of the inserter. So all of this is just the handle and then this narrow tube goes into the vagina um, through the speculum so that I'm able to insert this portion into the uterus and I adjust this little marker depending on how long the uterus is. Um, in terms of looking cl more closely at the inserter itself, um, so this is where I had taken this from this is not, it would come preloaded, but basically the IUD is pushed out of this insertion device, which is placed into the uterus and then released as such. So just to demonstrate, I've now the uh, IUD, the purple IUD, just the demo is here inside. And so this is your vagina. I'm looking through this way with my speculum at the cervix. And then this, I, this is what I'm doing. I'm going like this to insert into the uterine cavity and release the IUD. This has already been deployed and then the IUD stays there inside. Also in the box, in addition to the uh, insertion tool, there's some manuals intended for physicians, um, some other information and product monographs, that sort of stuff. It also comes with a card um, that uh, is given to the patient so that you can write down the um, date of the insertion and, um, oh, here's the card. So you can just write down the date 
And so you can keep this someplace safe so you remember uh, when it's time to uh, return for a new IUD change um, in five years for Kylina and also five years for Marina. Um, I'll just briefly also show you a couple of packaging um, from the um, from a couple of copper IUDs. Uh, so this is just one example of a copper IUD, Mona Lisa um, Mini is one version, Mona Lisa Standard the other. Um, without getting into too much detail, uh, their packaging is a little bit different. Um, not quite as big as the uh, Marina packaging and the Kylina packaging because the um, insertion device is just packaged a little bit differently, but it's the same idea. You basically have a, a thin little narrow tube that goes into the uterus um, and then this little device helps to slide the IUD carefully into the uterus and it's removed. So um, same thing comes with a card to write down uh, the date and so you can remember when the IUD was inserted. So one thing I also wanted to add um, just while I have this out is to point out that um, the actual IUD itself and the strings are very, very pl flexible. So um, this would be the material of say the uh, Marina or uh, Kylina IUD. Um, the plastic that um, the IUD itself is made out of is very, very soft and gentle. The hormone is contained within the stem, but uh, regardless, the entire structure is very, very soft as are the um, the strings are very, very soft and, and flexible. They're not really sharp and pointy. So you don't notice that this is there inside the uterus. You don't notice the strings generally, and it would be very unusual for your partner to be bothered by these very soft, flexible strings. Uh, if there's any problems, the strings can sometimes be trimmed. Um, but regardless, it's a very soft material that this is made. So of. very briefly, that was just an unboxing of a um, Kylina IUD. The Marina is basically uh, identical. Um, so just remember uh, not to be intimidated by the looks of the box. Uh, the IUD itself is very, very tiny. So, um, so that's another video. Um, once again, I'd say that in less than the time it took you to watch this video, you could have had an IUD inserted because it takes just five minutes for five years of worry-free contraception. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.